So yeah, Cap, right? New England. So y'all have a physical school over there? No, not yet. Uh, before COVID, I was looking for one, and then that kind of disrupted the entire market. Things are kind of starting to get stabilized again. So, you know, Lord willing, we'll be able to find something. Kawaka, Mosa in Christ. But in the meantime, what, what will be the contact number um, for anyone in, new, in the New England area? So for anybody in the New England area, y'all got to forgive me. I, I got a I gotta no special line work. that was hooked up to my phone. So in order, hold on. Let me grab it. It's 857-990-1887. So that's 857-990-1887. Come on, come. Most in Christ. And Salak, out one. You know, you're informite, a so-called Puerto Rican. Correct. You understand? Did you, growing up, you know, did, did you grow up with like, um, among the tribes that you were growing up with, did you see any division or any brotherhood, you know, you know in the world uh, whatsoever? You understand? As a, as a light-skinned Ephraimite, how, how was it for you, Ottawan? Well, I wasn't raised amongst uh, mine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was raised in, like, an a ethnically mixed neighborhood. So we had Italian kids, we had Hispanics, we had blacks, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, we had Latino, we had, we had Native Indians. It was a little bit of everybody. It was really like a melting pot. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't really differentiate too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, as far as, like, you know what I'm saying, the, the direct circle from my neighborhood because it was normal for all of us to be together. It was normal for us to be at the park. It was normal for us to be at the handball courts. It was normal for, you know what I'm saying, for what's going on, man? I didn't see you all year, bro. <laughs> How you feel? Good? So, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't, um... I, I think though, um, when I went into other neighborhoods and when I went into other areas, because I was social. So while some people were stuck to the confines of their neighborhood, their crew, or whatever set that they set up around there, I wanted to explore. But I did notice a difference if I went to a predominantly white area. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in the hood, blacks and Latinos, we're together. Especially like when it comes down to Puerto Ricans, because we're um we're so Americanized that like we rock with you the heavy inside New York. But when I would go to the white areas, you would see it different. The racism would come out. You know what I'm saying? Dif different things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So the one thing I'm thankful about is that if I would have came up directly with my father's people, I might be tribal, and tribalism is satanic. And there's a language barrier, and as a result, you know what I'm saying. And because of that language barrier, a lot of times we think that, you know what I'm saying, these people don't have the same plight as us, or that we have a different struggle. When really, we're all brothers and sisters that lost our identity. So from not being, um, from not being constrained to having that pride or caring about the Puerto Rican flag, I was able to jive with everybody. So as a result. I was able to connect with Judah and we were able to break down that barrier. Kalawakan, Mosa in Christ, and um, Salaka Cap, you know, what, what about the, um, cause you know, you're, 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 you're one of our scholars over here in the school, like, you know, well, what are, well, like, what books you got out there, out of one, if I may? So, um, I've written three books, Shalom Hebrew, what's going on? Good to see you. I've written three books. Uh, two of them right now are available on Amazon. The third one will be available on Amazon soon. And I have a fourth one that I'm writing. The first one is Issachar, Son of Jacob. I'm translating that to Spanish as we speak. The second one is Ruben, My Excellence. Um, that's also going to be translated to Spanish. The third one is We Came From The East. And then the fourth one is uh, uh, The Sons of Joseph, which is going to be on Ephraim and Manasseh. You know what I'm so you could definitely look them out. You could just type in Cap Kataza on Amazon. It'll pop up. Come on, come. Most in Christ out of one. And you just mentioned that you were going to translate those books in Spanish. But my question regarding that is, uh, knowing that we have French brothers or brothers in Brazil that speak Portuguese, do you plan on translating those books in uh, French and Portuguese as well? Come in, in the future, and Creole. You know what I'm saying? Come on, uh, come. You know what I'm saying? For, for the Haitians as well. But... Um, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm going through the translation process and these books directly have to do with the Northern Kingdom. So I wanted to make sure that I started in the language for the demographic that it would associate with. 
but eventually I'm going to expand so all the tribes could get the knowledge. Kawa Ka, Mosa and Christ are the one. And, um, what's the third one? Yeah. All right, so speaking about the books, I don't want you understand. Do you have, like you said, the next book is going to be about, um, you understand, the sons of Joseph, right? Yes. So, besides that, do you have any, well, you know, can you give us a little, a little insight, you know, a little preview or what's going on after that? Well, after that, um, I'm probably going to keep, I don't know which tribe I'm going to pick, maybe Gad. But inside that book, excuse me, inside that book, I'm going to uh, definitely show. You know what I'm saying? Archaeological evidence, some anthropology, as well as biblical prophecy on how the sons of Joseph are the natives of the Caribbean islands. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the descendants of the Tainos, the Arawaks, the Caribs, which are you know some classifications that they put our people under. Kind of kind. More saying Christ, huh? more saying Christ. Real quick, because huh? I know you know you're doing music and everything. You know, can you, can, 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 can you give us you know a little insight on what's going on with the lost tribes? Uh, you know, the app and everything. I go on. Show you all right, about you? All right. So um, what happens is I got a, I got a, a tribe vibes coming, and tribe vibes is a platform that's an exclusive platform for independent artists where you can get paid the most there. And uh, right now I currently have eight artists on there, and uh, we have live streaming. Uh, pay-per-view events, music, and it runs just like Spotify, Tidal, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be able to compete, you know what I'm saying, with all the elites up there, you know what I mean? So definitely look forward to it. It's going to be available on the Google Play Store as well as Apple. It's available to download straight from the website at tribe-vibes.com. Kawakan, so like, uh, what's the, the name of the app again? Tribe Vibes with a Z. Tribe Vibes with a Z, most in Christ. And what's going on with the radio show? I want, do you want to make a little promo for the Cross the Line radio show? So, uh, Cross the Line Radio Man is every single Thursday, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in, and we're also going to be having a lot of battles and debates coming up. Matter of fact, uh, I believe March, or no, excuse me, April 8th or 7th. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it's a lot, Captain, That'll be 8th. I spoke to Captain Tazaria. He's going to be battling uh, Shaka Utmost. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you come. Cap? No, I'm Okay, I just want to make sure I, I get a chance to hear me. Cut him, come. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? So it's going down. So make sure y'all tune in across the line radio. Come on, come on. Mosa and Christ, I don't want to And uh, any last words, any comments, I don't want Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I think everybody should make sure they make it out to the Passover next year and lock in with us. Call your local captains in whatever city that you're over. And if, you, and if there's no one in your city, then you raise this banner. You understand? Come on, come on. Mosa and Christ, I don't want to again. You know, you have a shot. Thumb.